Yeah. Hi, this is Dr. Marion Ross from Shift Your Life. Today we're with Ralph Suttoth, the president of Vertronics. Ralph is a great water researcher and he's created devices that help people energize water or rather structure water. Ralph, today we're going to ask you how does structured water solve issues for agriculture and health? Can you give us a little bit of a, an idea of what structured water is to begin with and why it's different from what we think of as H2O? Uh, structured water is basically it's, it's, it's organized water molecules. And when you organize water mo molecules, it sets up uh, a different vibration mm -hmm. than than uh, say water that would be disorganized, and that that organization, what we believe in the phys in physics, I believe that it's actually trapping light, mm -hmm. and it's the trap light that creates that vibration. So organized water is better for the plant because it's easier for the plant to absorb, and also it's the charge. The water molecule, there are billions and billions and billions of, of water molecules in a single drop of water. So you can imagine the, the sub-microscopic uh, molecule. So it's it's when those molecules lose their charge, they clump together. Mm -hmm. And it makes the plant harder to absorb the hydrogen and and, and also the nutrition uh, from the, the microbiological standpoint. It, it, it supports the microbiological community uh, when the molecules are organized. So does that mean you're adding, you're creating positive and negatively charged water and there's sort of something in the middle called uh, exclusion well, zone water? What happens is those positive and negatively charged molecules mm -hmm. lose their charge. Okay. And that's, that's what happens is when they run the water through straight pipes, mm -hmm. which is un, very unnatural to water, all the electrons are flung, fling off the, 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 the water and it loses its energetic uh, uh, nature. Mm -hmm. And so so when you when you restore the power back to the water, the the, the molecules uh, uh, increase their their negative and positive charge, and it allows them to have their gives them their orbit back, so they're no longer clumped together. So they're so, they're moving freely, like your blood should be moving freely. Yes. So everything is flowing. It allows the flow in the water to become organized in a way where it can be absorbed. So actually. From what I've talked to some of the people that have been using your uh, product, and they said that they're getting huge yields. Their yields are 30, 40, 50 percent greater with 30 percent less water. It depends greatly on the, on, the, on the quality of water that you start off with. Okay. A lot of water that we're starting off with is really a, a dead article. Mm -hmm. the, the vibration of the water is completely lost. The, 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 the charge, as you put it, it, on the hydrogen and the oxygen has diminished, and then those two, the molecules then become clumped together like glue, mm -hmm. and so it, it's become sticky molecules, and it's that's what makes it hard for the for the plants and and the microbes to absorb that water. Right. So when you free the hydrogen and or you and the oxygen, and you give them their that re, re, uh, uh, give them that orb, orbit back. Mm -hmm. And the hydrogen's able to, to, to release itself from the from the water molecule, and hydrogen is the juice of the, of the water molecule. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the currency, mm -hmm. and so so it's it increases greater absorption when you when you're working with structured or energized water. So if I have soil that's basically dead, which a lot of people are working with today, how does it re-energize the soil when you're using structured water, and how long does it take to re-energize the soil? Living water or structured water activate the microbes. Okay. It's an, it's an energetic process where the uh, the aerobic uh, environment uh, allow this or begin to support the, uh, the the microbes in the soil. And so once those microbes have a have a support, they get it. They sort of get a, a foothold in mm -hmm. the soil, and then they they multiply, of course, and then they they basically take over. So the aerobic uh, force or the aerobic microbes begin to um, uh, activate the soil, so to speak. So it, 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 it comes alive again. Yeah, because they're eating the nutrients in the soil and everything's breaking down. And So you're and restoring the actual ecosystem using structured water. Living energized water could restore a lot of, of, of the, what they call dead zones where, where agriculture has, has been completely it, uh, destroyed. 
uh, energized water can rea mm -hmm. reactivate the microbes in that soil. Would this happen in a week, a month, a year? How long does it take? Uh, in days and weeks, for, uh, certainly not months. So very it's, quickly, it's, they, actually. Yeah, microbes work very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, do you use fewer pesticides when you use structured water? Or do you still need pesticides? Well, the, the, you know, it depends greatly on the genetics. Is uh, the but most often times pesticides are needed because of the imbalance of nutrition for the plant. When the mm -hmm. plant doesn't have the proper nutrition, uh, the proper nutrient uptake, then it be, it's a weak plant, and that vibratory frequency of that plant actually attracts uh, insects or bugs mm -hmm. in the bug kingdom. And so, when you have a high vibrational uh, plant. Uh, that has the proper nutrition, then the insects are not, uh, the bad insects don't seem to bother those types of plants. So, so they're it, no longer I, attracted to the plants. Right. So it's, it has a lot to do with the, nu the nutrient uptake or mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the mineral content, the soil. But, but what energized water does is it increases the vibration of the water. Mm -hmm. And when the plant uptakes that water, it increases the vibration of the plant. So theoretically, you should need much less pesticides or mm -hmm. herbicides. And probably fewer fertilizers because you have... Absolutely. Hurt. So it's a win-win in every way. I think so. I mean, it's, it, it surprises me that it, it's uh, uh, hard for people to understand that water carries a vibration and, and dead water or, or water that's been... Uh, uh, Destructured, polluted, right. It, you know, it doesn't have the ability to hold vibration and it's... Uh, and it's, and it's much harder for the plant to utilize. Well, that gets back to a really big point that water holds memory. And we know this. I just came back from a huge water conference. And all the science is saying that water takes on all the memory of I mean, everything that's been uh, happening to it through vibration. Absolutely. Actually, water, the memory in many ways transfers over into geometry. Mm -hmm. And it's the geometry or the frequency uh, that is actually transferred in just much like homeopathic medicine mm -hmm. is. It's, it's very similar to homeopathic medicine. So water's carrying a lot of memory and a lot of negative memory because there's over 6,000 chemicals being put into our, our, our drinking water. Uh, or or they, they, they've discovered over 6,000 chemicals in our drinking water. Right. So uh, that's a lot of negative memory. Mm-hmm. And Certainly so, actually, your, your device will erase all of that negative memory and restructure the water totally. It shows up on the water crystal. We don't know how much negative memory is actually being erased, but it does show up on the water crystal uh, under, on the, under the microscope mm -hmm. where we freeze the water and we're able to see the before and after changes. You did that with Dr. Emoto, no? Yes, I, I began working with Dr. Emoto back in 2001. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we, uh, we were able, I was able to work with him and, we, uh, and saw several thousand photographs of water crystals from around the world. And you've Tampa. cleaned up a lot of ponds and in pretty famous places and cleaned rivers in Ecuador with your system. So well, it's, well, a, it's a proven entity. Yeah, it's, it's, it takes a lot of, it takes, seems like it takes a lot of time for, for people to, to uh, get introduced to this new science of living water, but it's, it's, it, is a, it is a progressing field. And, and uh, you started it how long ago? Over 20 years ago. Well, it be 1996, 95. Yeah, we yeah. were deep into it back then, and uh, over the years we've, we've uh, developed a number of systems for, for different uh, applications, but we're uh, excited about the future. Wonderful. And I see behind you you have a Tesla machine. Is that a Tesla coil? Yes, that's one of the machines that I use to program information into materials. So when you build a unit for someone, or you know you already have pre-built units for homes and pools, it's used with it's uh, created with that Tesla structure. You're imprinting yes. the water with different uh, vibratory frequencies through yes. the Tesla coil. Is that true? Well, the Tesla coil. The Tesla coil is my. Um, is basically what I call the power, the, the power behind the frequency generator that I also uh, is a, is attached to the Tesla mm -hmm. coil, and then I basically charge. Uh, I don't believe I have any of the ceramic balls that I used to to program, mm -hmm. and uh, so basically the the unit is is uh, uh, 
some of the water units that I've developed utilize the ceramic uh, bead technology mm -hmm. that's programmed by the Tesla machine. Mm -hmm. So you have something that no one else has, and it's patented. Yes, yes. I have, I have uh, a few patents in the, in, the, in the field of water devices. Great. So uh, if someone would like to get in touch with you, how could well, they do they that? Can, they can contact, is it Shift Your Life? Yeah, they can go through us, info at shiftyourlife.com. And we'll get you in direct contact with Ralph, and he can work on your water systems. And if you have any further questions, please, you know, you can check out. The, the Hydriva.com website may have some, some uh, supporting literature, and we're doing uh, a number of uh, field tests and field trials right now. Mm -hmm. um, so it's constantly being updated. Great. So uh, don't hesitate to contact us at shiftyourlife.com because... We can get to Ralph uh, very quickly and get all of your uh, questions answered and hopefully find solutions for any of your agricultural challenges. Thanks so much, Ralph. It's Thank been a great you for interview. Sure, sure. You're interested in this. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Bye now.